What's the connection between the International Women's Club and the International Music Festival? Well, you're about to find that out as I've been invited to this magnificent and colorful event here at the City Hall in The Hague. I'm Paul Brown, this is West International. People from other countries often complain about the level of service in the Netherlands being very poor. Now this doesn't just apply to shops, bars and restaurants, but also government organisations and large companies. In our service item this week, we find out how one international organisation tries to address this problem. Now on the 10th of May is Mother's Day in the Netherlands, and in our Vox Pops this week we ask expats how they celebrate this special day in their country. Of course with Cecilia we can expect the unexpected in her surprise item, but first, let's join Nicola, who this week in her search for delicacies finds herself at a wine and dine on the Denevec in The Hague. Today we're doing something slightly different again. I'm on my way to Sophie and Nico's, a French-Dutch couple with wine businesses here in The Hague. Now Nico did a bit of research and discovered that over 70% of his clients are international and with that in mind decided to organise an informal wine tasting session with a bite to eat. Now that sounds like an invitation nobody can refuse, including me. So, what's on the menu today? This evening we have a variety of dishes from all over the world, cooked by different chefs. We've asked some restaurant owners in the Haag to come by and show us some food, and we're going to try and get the right bottle of wine to accompany in it. So you'll choose the right, the correct wine? We're trying to get that right, yep. And that will result in a big food and wine fair we're organising on the 7th of June here in the city of The Hague. So basically you're experimenting on us this evening? You're my guinea pig. Oh, I'll be your guinea pig any day. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Here we go. What have we got here? Well, these are a few of the wines that we have from organic sources. Um, maybe I can let you taste something. We have uh, an organic wine from Bordeaux made by an expat lady that has your name, Nicola. Oh, wow. So I'll let you taste this. I expect this to be brilliant. And um, it's dry, white, and it's uh, very, very clean. And this is organic? That's organically grown. It smells lovely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yes, very good. Well, a wine called Nicola would have to be good, wouldn't it? Doesn't exactly. It? It's all in the name. So, organic wine. I mean, if I go to a wine shop, is there something I should be looking out for? A specific label? Well, some of the wines are uh, certified organic, so you will find the names Demeter or Ecocert or the AB logo on it. Uh, for instance, this wine here. You can clearly see it's on the label, oh, so yeah. there's no misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. But we have uh, Chablis here that is completely uh, without any logo, but it's organically grown. Okay. So you have to have a good relationship with your wine merchant. Okay. If, it's not, uh, if it's not certified, you have to trust the person who's selling it to you. So you have a special interest then in organic wine? Well, ever since the start of the shop, we've been very much involved in buying wines from clean soil, uh, from winemakers who don't mess around with nature and don't add all kinds of chemicals. So basically, organic wine is clean wine? Absolutely true. So Nico, in addition to the amazing wine collection, I've noticed some whiskies up here, and then I thought, your name's McGoss, is there a link? Well, there's not exactly a link, but I'm certainly not uh, a typical Dutch wine merchant. In fact, my father was Irish and I was born in London and I still have a British passport. So, would you consider yourself an expat then? I'm not really an expat because we've been here since 1961. But Sophie, my wife, is a real expat uh, okay. from France. Where are you from, Sophie? From Bordeaux in France. Oh, very nice. And we have some nice wines as well. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in yeah. passing. <laughs> and how long have you been in The Hague? Well, we've moved to uh, Denar in uh, July last year, actually. But the last eight years I've been traveling a lot between France and, uh, and Holland. But now we settled in the city. And have you settled in? Yeah, yeah. I, I like the city a lot. And um, I must say I did not find it difficult to... Uh, to live here because well there are many uh, expats like I am so we just exchange information and it goes fast and we've decided to move to Denar because uh, our daughter goes to the French school uh -huh. and there I've met uh, many French people but as well many uh, other uh, international people like Italian, Spain or whatever so it's a, a very rich city from this point of view.
Well, it looks like your friends have been busy. What have we got here? We have uh, carpaccio from uh, organically farmed beef. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful Dutch lobster and we have beautiful Argentinian beef and a killer lemon cake. Yeah, you just go back and back and back to, to that restaurant to eat that cake. So your organic wines then would go perfectly with all these dishes? They certainly will. Great. Well, cheers, Nico. Cheers. Thank you so much. See you in June. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Sante, cheers. toast. Uh, no, no, yeah. no, that one too. <laughs> Salute. Sante. And we're not going to get drunk because it's organic. Nico assured me. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
well, to do business. People who come here to work or to study, expats as we say, feel happy and feel at home because they're very important for our economy and they're also very important for our reputation. When they come back, uh, well, they can act as an ambassador for our city, for our region and bring back uh, the good story home. It's a difficult question. If she's watching this, I have to be careful. Um. Uh, someone who's, you know, who's there through thick and thin. Uh, it's it, not just someone who will praise you when you're good, but someone who's also there to hold your hand when you're not so good. I would say somebody who really um, cares for the kids and puts their kids first and also does everything they can to make their kids life better and give the kids the opportunities that maybe they didn't have when they were growing up or just, just basically lets the kids be the kids. A good mom is a woman who is willing to take the responsibility of her, chil of her child, bad or good. I'm trying to be understanding on one hand, but on the other hand, try to give my kids, uh, try to help them to discover their full potential. You know, some people are just plain lucky. They move to the Netherlands, find a nice job, and even have friendly colleagues who call West International and ask us to send down Al Cecilia to organize a warm welcome. So, Sven, where are you from? I'm from The Hague, right close to here, actually. And you want to surprise your girlfriend today? Yeah, that's true. Um, she's been here now for six months. Uh, she's German, and she's trying to get accustomed to the, to the country, to the, to the culture. It's, the Dutch it's way of life. The Dutch way of life. It's not a big difference, but she runs into these differences, you know, every now and then. And um, I'm just trying to let her know that I'm here to support her, and she's not alone in this thing, and um, I think she's doing a really great job. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. And where is she now? Uh, she's right over there now, um, behind the boat, on the terrace, having oh. a drink. Nice. Or the French, she doesn't know I'm here. Well, shall we go then? Well, yeah, let's go. Okay, is that her in the long hair? I think it's her in the white. In the white? Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Are one of you girls Lydia? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hi. Surprise! <laughs> we just have a little surprise for you for. Uh, having come and moved to the Netherlands for six months and your boyfriend wanted to show you some support. So can we sit down and chat for a bit? Yeah. Okay. What is this? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so Lydia, how have you found Holland so far? It's a really open question. <laughs> um, I like it. I like the Hague because it's on the beach. Yeah. And now it's really nice. It tastes like this. And you come from Germany, right? I'm from Germany. So how are there differences and similarities? I know the language is pretty similar, right? I'm not speaking Dutch yet. Oh, you're not? Okay. Because uh, the conservatory is in uh, English. So my study is in English. I speak to all the people in English. And we speak English, so uh, pretty much no Dutch, but uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> so what brought you here to Holland, besides him? <laughs> well, he didn't really bring me here. Um, I moved here to study at the conservatory. Uh, I'm a jazz singer, and I just wanted to start a study here. So I came to Holland, that's why I came. Well, Netherlands, yeah, it's pretty good for jazz, right? <laughs> and so how did you guys meet, you and Sven? Uh, I lived at his place for two months, in his roommate's room. And, uh, no, it actually took a while until I even th thought of this. I was here six weeks or something, so it doesn't, didn't take so long. But, I mean, we also, we also live together, so you see each other every day. And um, so considering this took a while until, and, and I didn't get the picture. I didn't get any signs or anything, so. Well, what? <laughs> and right. then she came into the game. And, uh, made sure that I got the signs. Uh, have you guys ever been sailing together? No. Yeah, I'm sure you know that he loves to sail. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, now you guys get the opportunity to go together. You guys get to go on a sailing trip for a day, and I hope you guys have a great time. So. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. What, so if you want to surprise a loved one, fiancé, girlfriend, or wife, let us know at www.westinternational.nl. We'll see you next week. Hi, Mom. We miss you. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. 
I'm here and I'm studying psychology here in Holland. Yeah, I, I love you, Mom, and appreciate all you do for me. Mom, I love you. Don't ever forget it. <laughs> Mom, I love you. I'm sorry I didn't say it often enough. I love you very, very much. Hi, Mom. This is Mia. I, I'm here in a Dutch television channel, and then I'm glad that Mother's Day is coming, I think. And then so I would like to take this opportunity to say hello to you and my greeting from Holland. The International Music Festival in the City Hall in The Hague hosted performances from many different groups from various nationalities. These included an Indonesian orchestra, a Malaysian dance group, an international jazz band and many other acts from Algeria, Cuba, Brazil, Poland and Turkey, just to name a few. The International Music Festival is about inviting some embassies to participate with their performances. We were very fortunate to have 14 embassies like Cuba, Venezuela, Argelia and Brazil bringing their most remarkable performances. One of the most popular groups here tonight is Simply Green and yes, they're about as Irish as it gets. Although quite a few people seem fairly experienced in the Irish dance, I already know that it's not really my cup of tea. But it's certainly a pleasure to watch, and I was very surprised to find out that only one of the band members is actually a native of Ireland. Simply Green. Okay, and I presume that the, the green refers to Ireland? Oh, yes. yes Obviously, yes. with the start of the music. And I presume you're all Irish? No, no, not no, quite. no we're not. Oh, right, okay, okay. I'm so an Irish lad. I, I'm from Dublin. I'm Paul O'Brien from Dublin. But the, the other three lads are from The Hague. How is that for an, an Irishman playing with Dutchman Irish music in the Netherlands? Well, it's, it's embarrassing because they know more about Irish music than I do. Is there any temptation to bring a Dutch influence into the style of music that you play? Can I ask you this? Yes, a Dutch, Dutch influence into the music, you mean? No, we, we went for the, for, the, for the Irish music because it's much more lively than, let's say, the traditional Dutch music. Everyone loves music no matter where you come from. And this was the grand finale of our 30th day anniversary of the International Women's Concert with Hague and we decided to organize a big event and what better than a music festival as everyone loves music. The nice thing about an international music festival is that every performance is different from the previous one. The same can be said about the audience members who seem to represent at least as many different countries as they were on stage. If they do this and make it a regular event is this something you come back and support every year? Yeah, yeah, I would like. Very we much. need this kind of events, you know? Definitely. We are like trying to enjoy more the culture here. We become from a different countries and yeah. we really, the way to enjoy and know the country where you live is to be part of the community. The festival was not only about music, but also about food. There were delicacies from many different countries, so I decided to try my luck with some Colombian treats. A Colombian kebab? Yes, yeah. like this. Okay. Potato and uh, maize food. Uh, this is one sauce uh, that is spicy. This is made with avocado. Mm -hmm. And this is mayo. Okay. Look at that, huh? Spice. I have your microphone. Okay, oh, okay. You, you do the mic, I'll do the eating. Okay. This guy wants my job. Okay, that's, that's, all. that's good. Very soft beef. Okay. Yeah, very, very good. If, you're, if you fancy a thirst quenching, uh, summer drink, you could do a lot worse than go with uh, Colombian Tizer. And people in England will understand what I mean and everybody else wonders what I'm talking about. But this is very nice, so salute. The event was organized by the International Women's Club in cooperation with various embassies in The Hague. All of the proceeds of the music festival go to the Mama Cash charity organization. Although we don't know yet exactly how much money was raised, it's fair to say that the event has been a great success. Proverbs go to Mama Cash. Mama Cash is a charity organization which helps women who are mistreated. Since we are a women's club, this is a very good charity to choose. If you're asking yourself why you missed this event, it's probably because you didn't see our cultural agenda. So, check the one out for this week. Together with the non-profit organization Sesame Workshop, Madura Dam is holding a Sesame Street exposition. Madoradam, also known as the smallest city in the Netherlands, will be filled with all the favorite Sesame Street characters, including Elmo, Bert and Ernie. We all know the Dutch are famous for their windmills, and what better excuse to expose yourself to some culture than the National Windmill Weekend? 
you can find them dotted all over the country, even in your own backyard. For example, viewers in Leijendam can visit the Salamander. On the 5th of May, we celebrate the freedom of the Kingdom of the Netherlands from the occupying Germans and Japanese in 1945. We also take a moment to think about our freedom and the places in the world without it. On this special day, a podium is set up on the Spalplein every year to stage performances from various bands and artists. In La Traviata, Violetta Valerie becomes passionately involved with the young poet Alfredo. His father disagrees with his relationship and drives them apart. This promises to be a powerful, moving and classic operatic performance. Massive Movement is an inspiring collection of artists, rappers and dancers expressly looking for confrontations between different genres and disciplines. The accompanying orchestral music shows influences from many different styles from all around the world. For these and other tips on going out, visit our website www.westinternational.nl I think this festival is a fantastic initiative by the International Women's Club, especially as it's for a good cause. And with the summer coming up, there'll be plenty of other events for you to be able to go out and participate in. So, if you're going to be here for a few months or several years, don't forget that life in Holland is not just about work and business, but it's also important to take part and participate in the fun and social events that are out there for you to enjoy. That's it for this week. I'll see you next week on West International. You are what you watch.